Hello and welcome to What Map, the map view show for City Skylines. There are tens of thousands of maps in the workshop now, and so finding the right one for your next build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review one, using our 5 star rating for aesthetics, detail and gameplay potential, awarding only the very best of the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines explorers, as we venture to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to what can only be described as the best map review show for City Skylines on YouTube in the summer of 2017, which frankly isn't very catchy, so I'm just going to stick with what map if that's okay with you. Well, today's map is Kokiri by Viral Strike. Got to be very careful how you read both of those. Big, big gulf in the middle of the 25 square tile there, taking away a huge build plane. But other than that, it looks po uh, potentially pretty good here with the coves and the mountains. Uh, what do we need? We need nothing apart from maybe just Tropical and Definitive Vision and three other mods just to keep you, keep you ticking. Right, well, as we roll along the highway, which is perfectly good and true, nothing really to talk about with this highway until we reach the start square. I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already seen Skylines Talk, my new chat show for City Skylines, it's on the channel right now. I'll point that out because it's only going to be about a week or so until we get part two. I've already lined up the guests for the next two shows. I'm very excited about them. I'm not going to reveal them just yet. But they add, um, they, they're going to add a lot of experience and knowledge. And basically, I just, I just can't wait to you know, pick their brains apart and see if there's any cobwebs in there, because I know there's certainly cobwebs in mine. Right, as we're now entering the start square, um, as you can say, there's not really been that much to talk about with these, uh, with these highways. Start square, it's the Cloverleaf Junction, which is fine, nothing to moan about there. And if you want to start square, that is pretty much the perfect location for a start square. Right, let's have a quick look, make sure those bridges are high enough. They look high enough. They, they are high enough, they're fine. They're fine, me being paranoid, everything's good. Let's move along. Perfectly nice suspension bridge there, nice little arch in the middle. Some of those are too flat, and that one's actually really, really quite nice. And then we'll follow along this side of the bottom of the hills there. That's quite nice, leaves lots of build plane on the left to get down into the coast, quite like that. What's that? What is that? Oh, now elevated highway, fine, but I would like to have seen that terraformed. If you're going to go up there at all, terraform it. Now we're up here, we've got a couple of elevated highway sections. They're nicely done. A little bit bumpy there, but still it's fine with intolerance. And then we drop back down to the ground. Why? Why did we go up there? Why? What was the point? I mean, we might be a bit close to the beach, I guess, with the highway, if we'd stayed at ground level. But, but that's fine, surely. Oh, well, never mind. So anyway, we, we drag along at, at ground level, which is where we should be, following along the curvature of the mountains again. Um, some nice build plane here on the left-hand side. Um, we'll have a look at that rail line in a minute on the right. You probably noticed up there, jumping about... That's not going to be particularly high scoring, I reckon. Um, and then into the forests. The forests of doom. No, 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 no. The forests of beautiful, lovely elf type creatures. <sighs> but this, so probably there's not really that much to talk about with these highways. Really not that much to talk about. Let's have a look at the rail. The rail, following along the side of the highway. Also pretty... Um, Pretty uninspired, but okay, no, that's fine. And then it tracks into the start square. Now this I did want to have a look at. I mean, look at the height of that. First of all, it's a little steep for a train, but that's the skylines for you. I would have quite liked to have seen it going underneath, maybe a slight, um, like slight cutting underneath most of that. So that's a nice rail bridge. That is very nice. And then we go up this slightly too steep hill. But once again, we'll just, we'll allow it just for the sake because it's city skylines. And then we get up to this bit of detailing, which is all well and good. Apart from the train can't stop up there. There's no road access to this factory. What's it doing on the side of the hill anyway? I don't understand. 
makes no sense and then you've got this rail line basically going up and down the side of the hill it's it I mean that could be much leveler and we see how at this point here same elevation as this point here could have just tracked along the side of the hill in a straight line maybe but no we've got to drop down the hill and come back up it and now we're going over a hill oh and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and this was this was a bad idea viral this was a very bad idea but we're, we're up on the side of the hill now so we're just going to keep it going and now we come down this is a nice drop nice gentle drop back down to the ground level and then when we get down to ground level we can start talking about asset reviews what do you think and so on with an asset that I wanted to do a couple of weeks ago but I was having glitch problems with them uh, they're working pretty much fine now and they are the utility poles by Tokachi269 now if you're sick of the ugly ugly power lines that come with the game these are a great alternative they do work as well as power lines um, you might want to use the prop line tool slight glitch in the moment guys sorry about that they do come back um, and they're really quite nice the prop pack actually comes with loads and loads of different uh, assets within it to basically produce whatever you want very very nice these I've just shown you a very basic straight line there but they are beautiful and a great asset to have. Utility Bowls by Tokachi269. Today's asset of the day. And shipping routes. Now shipping routes at Kokiri. Um, there are shipping routes. Basically any way you want them. Uh, water flow. No problem there either. Look at this. Quite a strong flow all the way down and out. Thank you very much very nice to see let's have a look at the water in its full glory you can see its movement there um, down underneath this uh, the glorious bridge and that island I like that island good good placement and of course with the water flow they will be elongated like that down the length of the river um, except for this one isn't this one's kind of well maybe there's a big boulder that forms that island I don't know that one's okay though that one there what else have we got uh we come to this pool this very nice now if this was the water source i'd be very happy but we're stretching it we're stretching it we're going up to another water source and this is nice look this is this is very nice a little river delta leading to a very slight little waterfall there it's quite nice detailing that and then we climb up a little bit higher and then we're getting to our water sources up no we're not there further up there there there's your water source uh, once again, I would like to have seen that hidden in some way, but uh, still quite nice actually the the overall aesthetic of the whole thing I could deal with that and once again up here And um, we've got up a separate separate waterfall to that one and over here We've got this little lake seems to be the main water source here and this drops down Well another one of these that quite nicely Aestheticized aestheticized am I really making up new words for the English language? I don't know um, what have we got? On the right you have build plane and there's a fair amount of it. It's not the world's biggest build plane and like say these coves they're very nice but they are eating into ah the essential lighthouse very nice sorry the, 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 these coves are built they're eating into the uh, into the build plane and it's uh, I think they could have been quite slightly less deep to enable us to uh, ma you know it's, do a slightly bigger city build what have we got there um, we'll have a look at that in a minute that's the headland and then over here it's quite narrow down here because once again the cove is eaten in oh it's a castle um, I've seen worse castles I think it should be a little higher actually than that because once again if you're invading once you get to the top of the hill you can shoot arrows down from that high point there into the castle so um, yeah that's a slight slight fault with your castle design there sir um, but yes it's um, there's your main let's say your build area You've got another little build plane along the edge of the map here the hills you can get into they're not too steep but you can get into them and build right up into these areas here and uh, you got this the watery area there and the side of the map with the fog because that's where the fog lives and not say it's all very accessible. Shall we head down to that headland now, shall we? Just to see if there's anything worth looking at down here. 
You never know. There might be might be a dragon. Might be two dragons. There might be No, there's no dragons. Well there's a there's a disappointment. I thought maybe uh a viral strike would have hidden some dragons on the island. Ah, island, yes. Dragons on this island. This is nice. Um, considering it's a tiny island, we've got this huge river running down it. But it works. And look, this is how you build a, an extinct volcano. That is nice. That is actually a very good volcano. Okay? I, that's one of the best I've seen. Um, there's your water source going down into the, into the river. Ah, that's very nice. It's just a shame that this whole cove here, there should be a little bit more. I think, I think we can see some land reclamation going on in these coves, just to stretch the land out a bit. And then down here we've got sandbanks. That's quite nice, underwater detailing. And over here, yeah, a stricken ship. And some more, some more sandbanks over here, a little bit more underwater detailing. That's quite nice work. It's always nice to find something hidden. And... Uh, that's very, very hidden. Yep, very good. Okay, let's score this thing, shall we? You know, it's, it's, it's not awful, is it? It's definitely not awful. Aesthetically, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it four. I'm gonna give it four stars. I've seen better looking four star maps, but this is definitely m worth more than three. Detailing for every good bit, there's a bit that knocks it down. So I'm gonna have to give it just a middly three, I'm afraid. Gameplay potential, do you know what, I would give this a 4, but there's so much of the 25 squares in the middle that have been eaten away by coves, it's just the 3 stars for gameplay for me, but I think it's definitely worth more than that really. Kokiri by Viral Strike. And that's it guys. Well tomorrow is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing and one thing only. It's the day after Wednesday. But it also means there'll be another what map coming along, so don't forget to comment, um, like, subscribe, and um, do other things as well today as well. Thanks guys, see you soon.